It's one of those things you don't realize at the time that you need, but you do need it. It's just... <laughs> difficult you know now um, I looked at the video last night for the first time and we're very very grateful to Lori for doing it for us because it was such a the emotions were so powerful My daughter had a similar experience with a full term infant, and um, I only wish that there had been a program like this for her. memory she's creating for these moms. It's a story that's not told often enough. It conveys a level of passion and compassion and it really showed what Lori is all about because she really had nothing to gain uh, but she cares so much about her patient and the impact fetal demise has on her. So, Not only because when she misses her, her baby, she can put the video in and uh, be reminded of him, but also because it allowed um, her family, her husband and other family members to experience the brief life of her son. And that was especially moving to me because I knew then that had this video not been created, that would have never happened. That moment would have been lost. She would be the only one who ever knew her baby.
marks the opening of Adams Garden. It's a garden created by hospital, the hospital's nursing staff and dedicated to families who've lost an infant during pregnancy or birth. Brandon Regional has a bereavement program that's earned the hospital worldwide recognition. It means a lot to us and hopefully to the parents of our community. We um, really wanted to reach out to our community and show that we care and uh, just remember the little lives that have been lost so early in life. So it's a very special day for all of us.